back with another inlay project. This time, it's the bathroom door. First step is to get it clean, then a base coat of the Jamie Ray Cottage Color Blue Hills. That's so that if any of the paint lifts up with the inlay like it usually does, it won't distress back to white. It'll be back to that lovely blue color and that matches the wood that's across the hall from this door. The wood on the walls is actually original to the house when we got it, and it's blues and browns that were by the back door originally. Here we're just measuring out where to put everything, and those little pieces that we taped to the side were just for um, guides when we put the inlay back down. And now it's a coat of apothecary. Truly one of my favorite DIY paint colors. You just want a nice thick layer so that it stays nice and wet as you put the inlay down. And I always missed the paint side. Usually I'm doing it with a paint that has a top coat in it. This one doesn't, but it's just a habit I now have, so I missed it. it. I will start just getting the little tiny, any air bubbles out of the inlay with a damp cloth. And then we use a brayer. Josie gave the pointer to always go from the middle out. And I have this bad habit of rolling back and forth, which I am definitely trying to break. Missed a little bit with some more water just so it's damp enough and then we'll wipe it again with a damp cloth. Another hint that we just got was to definitely make sure we don't go all the way to the edge with your cloth so that you can keep those loose edges and then it's easier later when you're trying to blend it. I like to make that get that tape off right away because you don't want it to like stick and pull up any of the paint.
You'll also see I can go back and forth a little bit with the green too on there, the apothecary, just to stop any of the lines that look totally unnatural. I just layered the paint colors back and forth a little bit. <clears throat> and then I decided I could maybe blend in through this part of the door and then maybe if I got close enough, it would take away the line. Okay, trying to figure out the best way to make this blend. I tried lighter, I'm not even thinking. Totally wrong choice. So, that's what I did. You're always going to have just a little bit of texture with those inlay sheets and so I decided the IOD silicone blade could actually do some of that over in the parts where I don't have the inlay paper doing that so just to one more step to try to blend it all together it all isn't necessary I think I was getting a little too picky but it's always worth a try, right? The sanding will smooth some of those edges out a little bit. That's a 220 grit sandpaper, and then I even used the just plain brown paper. I usually do a very light spray top coat for the over the inlays the first time but inside the one I have is stinky so I just thinned the patina with water and used a very soft like artist brush to go over them so that the colors would not smear at all Then I went over the rest of the door normally and actually just blended in a little bit to get a good base coat because you don't want to do a, the, and you get the colored patinas without having it clear on there first or it's just going to absorb into the paint and darken the whole color and not be able to be pulled back at all. It's 
it's amazing how much those colors all brighten up once the top coat's on there and a lot of the lines in between just sort of disappear. So like I said, in order to sort of marry this with the look of the wall across from it, we use the old and gray barnwood patina. You can see the boards over there to the left. And yeah, when I got a little bit too heavy, I wipe it back. Some of it I just, as it brushes on smooth enough, I don't wipe back, but here, definitely a little too heavy. Even though I love those bright colors of Debbie's inlay, it definitely suits the look here better with the barnwood over top, just toning those bright colors down a little bit. This is the typesetting stamps on a thin mount. You just hold it up with one hand and then wipe over each letter with the other. It did slip a bit on me, but it's a little tricky when you're working vertically. I used the IOD black ink to do this and then just touched up a little bit with another tiny little brush. I just dab it in, as you can see, and it fills it in. You can hardly notice. We've solved our problem and people will be able to find our restroom door now. Thanks for watching. We'd love it if you'd like, subscribe, share our video, and if you need any of the products, they're available on our website, ampiesattic.com.